guys. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know why I get so nervous when I do these types of videos. So I wanted to share with you guys how I was able to personally sell over $4,000, sponsor five new affiliates, and promote to senior affiliate within my first month with no filter. Huh? No filter, we all know, launched um, about the mid part of October. I joined um, sometime near like the, the first week of November. Um, so this was about three weeks that I had to to do all of this and I really was able by the end of November to personally sell over $4,000 in products myself and I sponsored five new affiliates to join the, the company with me and I promoted. I almost, I was so close to double promoting and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what my strategy is, how I do this, and I do this without the method of parties or online parties, you guys. Um, so just stay tuned, take your notes, and ask me any questions that you have. Okay, first things first. How in the heck do you get sales without having online parties? My method is crazy, but simple. It's called Facebook groups. That's it. Okay, let me explain. So before No Filter, and this will make sense in a minute, I was in direct sales. So I come with a little bit of history. And that probably is what helped me. In fact, I know that is what helped me. So before No Filter, I was with a company called Unique. Some of you guys probably know what that is. And yes, that was a party company. Before Unique, I was with a company called Avon, and we all know what Avon was. I mean, hello, Avon's calling. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. I'm a jumper. I jump from company to company, but promise you, I don't. So I only joined Avon to help my sister-in-law. That was it. I wasn't interested in selling, but I became a salesperson, and I was good at it, but I hated it. I hated going to person to person to person to get orders, collect orders, bag orders, deliver orders. It was a mess and I worked full time. I wasn't interested in it. So I got out of it. Um, years later, I actually stumbled upon Unique because I deal with cystic acne. I found a powder that I loved and I only signed up because I wanted to take advantage of the discount. I became really good at it. People like the products. I like the products and I, I just built um, a business out of it. The rest is history. I'm not going to go into the details there about why I decided to leave the company and come to No Filter, um, but I wanted to kind of give you a little history about where I come from because I learned a lot of techniques and tricks about network marketing, which I brought with me to No Filter, and I became really good at sales. Facebook can be a little tricky, and here is one of the key things that I have learned. There is an algorithm with Facebook. And one of the key things is whenever you post something and share something, Facebook is very particular about who it shows your post to. So here is something to remember. If you have a personal Facebook page, your personal page, whatever you post on your personal page, Facebook is going to show that post to the most amount of people, your friends first. Whenever you post something in a group, a Facebook group, it's gonna post that or share that next. Then if you have a business page, a page that you're using for your business, it's going to show that to people last, okay? So that's kind of like the anarchy. Did I just say anarchy? <laughs> It shows more people post from your personal Facebook page first, then a group, then your business page. If you share a picture, it's going to show that last. If you share a video, then it will show that. And a live will be first. So lives are very essential when it comes to your business. And then video and then pictures. When you want people to see what you're showing, do lives or videos 
and do them either on your personal page or a group that is growing. Okay, another key tool to use is your Facebook stories or Instagram stories. More and more people use those and view those on a daily basis and if you're using your stories you want to make sure that you're posting to those every single day because they do disappear in 24 hours and you want to mix up your business posts with your personal post to keep interest in what it is that you're sharing and showing and another key thing is always post with your post, add the little questions or polls to get people to interact with your stories so that you can interact back with that person via messenger. Because that's how I grow my engagement and I actually start to have conversations with people and tell them more and more about the products that I'm sharing, answer questions, solve their issues, and upsell to those customers. So let me get back to why I said Facebook groups is so important. So whenever I started my business, I did a launch event, launching my business and sharing my business to everybody that I know. It's the same concept as if you were to go and purchase a storefront, you would launch a business and a grand opening for your storefront. Do the same thing for your business online. So you would create a Facebook group, name it whatever you wanna name it because you can change the name later and invite every person that you know that would be interested in your products. Now here's a key thing. You don't wanna just blind invite people and just start inviting and adding everybody to the group. People don't like that and in, in fact, it turns them off. So instead, what you wanna do is you wanna create teaser posts on your wall and you wanna post something about something exciting is coming up. You're excited about what you're doing or what you're about to announce and just start gaining interest and curiosity about what it is that you're doing. And as people start to comment on those types of posts that you're posting, you're going to private message that person and let them know that you're excited about this new venture in your life, this new journey. You've started your own business and you're launching these products soon and you, you've created this group where you're going to be sharing all the information. Would they like to be invited? Or what I like to use is if I, would you? If I add you to this group, would you have time to take a look at everything? If I would you, if I would you works all the time. If I do something for you, would you do something for me? And by doing that, it creates that sense of trust between you and that person. And another thing is if you have close friends, close family, this is kind of like your hot market, your warm market, send them a message and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know I'm super excited about something that I'm started. I've created this private group. If I invite you, would you be interested in joining? So always send an invite. Always invite them. Don't blind invite people and add people. Make sure they're aware that you're adding them and inviting them. Once you add them to your group, send them a copy of the link in Messenger and say, hey, I've added you to the group. I'm super excited. Come check it out and then let me know. So that's how you get started with your group. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, Cassie, I have my group. I'm slowly adding people to it. Now what? What do I put in there? You can put whatever you want to. It's your group. It's your business. You're going to introduce yourself. If you're comfortable, rip that band-aid off, go live and just introduce yourself. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I've started this new adventure. I'm super excited about it. You're going to love it and here is why. Um, Tell a little bit, a bit about yourself. If you're a mom, if you're a student, if you're a daughter, if you have kids, if you're a fur mom, whatever, introduce yourself and then have people do the same thing. If you're uncomfortable doing a live, post a picture, post a pre-recorded video, whatever makes you comfortable. This is your business. This is your storefront and treat it that way. Okay. Another thing, 
People love engagement. People love something that's going to entertain them. So you can mix up um, product posts with funny memes, okay? Anything that is something about you, your business, what you're about, your personality. For example, people know that I love wine. I love coffee. I am a parrot mom. I am a fur mom. I am a mom mom. I am a grandmom. People know all of that about me that follow me on social media because I share my story. I share my life. And then they also know the products that I share and love. So you want to mix all that in. And then I also share other things like um, home tricks or recipes. You guys, it doesn't have to solely be products. You do want to also share engaging posts that's going to get people to respond to that post. So something simple, like right now it's Christmas time, you could post something like, do you prefer white lights or color lights? It has nothing to do with no filter, but it's going to get people to comment on that post. That is engagement and Facebook loves engagement. The more engagement that you have in your group, when you post something like a product, the more people Facebook is going to show that product post to. Okay, so let's just say that you've been in this business, you've been with Sweet Minerals for a while, you can relaunch your business at any given time. And let's face it, no filter is new. No filter launched in October. We all can do a whole new launch, especially with the new year coming. Don't be afraid to just come in and do a relaunch of your business. Reintroduce this company to your friends, your family, your friends of your friends, the friends of your friends and the friends of their friends and yeah, all the people. Relaunch your business. It's that simple. Don't be scared to share your products, your business with people. You can relaunch it every single year. Don't create a new group. Continue to grow that same group. After you do this launch, and I would say share every day, you want to share something about the product. Don't just post a picture of a product. You want to actually talk about how this product is going to solve a problem for people that are in that group. For example, this is the um, Clarify Treatment Foundation. I talk about this all the time because I deal with acne skin. I have cystic acne. You guys already know that. This helps me how? Because it helps to keep my oils at bay. It is infused with skincare and it is so good for my skin. It lasts all day. It doesn't come off. It gives me the covers that I need. I can, people can visually see how this helps me because it covers what I wanted to cover. It is so lightweight. I absolutely love it. When I share a video about this, people can see how passionate I am about this product. So instead of me just posting a picture about this product, I share about it. I talk about it. I do videos. I do pictures half on my face and half off of my face. People see me as the model of the products that I am sharing all the time. Um, so post in that group. If you guys don't know what to post, um, there is actually a drive um, where Sweet Minerals No Filter has tons of pictures and images. There's actually videos out there and I'm sure you guys can pull um, other videos and things like that um, from other affiliates. I'm sure they don't mind. Um, always ask for permission that you can share in your group. I would do that for a good five days or a week or so, um, just sharing the products. There's always a special that is running with no filter every month. I always talk about that special. Um, and then after your launch, so I would have your launch be at least a week long, but after your launch, you can change the name of your VIP to, I mean, your, the name of your launch group and make it a VIP group, okay? Don't confuse that to VIP no filter customers. Make it a very important group for all of your followers, your potential customers, your potential sponsorships. Have everybody start coming into that group and then you're going to start filtering people 
to that group. So anybody that ever shows interest, anybody that you talk to, any customer that ever orders from you, say, hey, I would love to add you to my VIP group because I always run specials in there and share tips and tricks. And I would love for you to make sure that you are the first to know about anything that I ever have going on. Continuously grow that group. Now that you understand groups and how important they are, this is how I sold $4,000. I already had my group. I had been building upon this group for four years, adding people, talking about it, sharing my group continuously. I always share my group and I always post on my public personal wall that I have something special going on in my group. Always, and I keep growing my group. So my group has well over a thousand people in it now, which is great. When I joined No Filter, I started posting teasers, like something is changing, um, something new is coming, I'm super excited about it. And then I peeled off the Band-Aid and I went live on my personal wall. And I went live sharing that I was leaving the company that I was with and I was joining a new company and I kind of shared the story of why. And people were really, really supportive about it. It was that live that got me a ton of sales after because what happened was in my group, I shared the post of our lip balm and I talked about me wanting to support the underground operation um, railroad and how important that was and what it was and how a hundred percent of the pro <coughs> profits excuse me were going to that organization and from that one post and people hearing my story everybody wanted that lip balm so it all started from the lip balm okay so what I did, this is what I do, is I write down people's name. I keep this notebook with me. It's old school, I know. But I handhold my customers. I never send them to my website unless they ask for my website link, okay? I write down their name and what they want, the lip balm. My customer wanted the lip balm. I was taking collecting orders for the lip balm, okay? Um, it was a huge goal of me to sell as many of those lip balms as I possibly could to support that organization. And people wanted to support the organization. And it was huge. So I collected the orders for the lip balm. It just so happened right after I joined No Filter, they had a $5 Friday. I had no idea they did this. And when I saw it, I was floored. And it happened to be blushes. $5 blushes blew my mind. I had never seen anything before like this with a company. And I was just so excited. I shared that post immediately after my live. And I was like, $5 blushes. Who wants it? I'll save you on shipping. Comment below which one you want and don't forget to add your lip balm. Almost every single person, and I can go back to the beginning of my notebook, every single person that ordered the, the blush added a lip balm. Blush, lip balm, blush, lip balm, blush, lip balm, blush, lip balm. So I was upselling the lip balm with the blushes because everybody wanted to support the organization. Look at these orders. Blush, lip balm, blush, lip balm. I did not want to send people my link to go to my website to find the blush and then pay $9 shipping. That's ridiculous. So what I was doing was collecting bulk orders from my group, writing their name down, what they wanted, and then I private message them. And I say, hey Angie, thank you so much for your order. I have you down for the Big Apple Blush. I'm also um, running a huge effort to um, sell as many lip balms as I can because 100% of the profits go to OUR. Would you like to add a lip balm? Yes, I want a lip balm. Awesome, I got you down. I add up the total, I add tax in my area, and I'm charging them $2 shipping. Now you may wanna charge them $3 shipping, $4 shipping, whatever you want. Once I get all the orders, I give them a due date of when the orders are due or due time, all right? Then I will go to the website and put in a bulk order. 
I have enough orders to get me over to Threshold to get me free shipping because I am my own VIP customer, which is another key thing, okay? So I get free shipping at $85. Um, and then I have the order mailed to me. I love it because no filter ships pretty doggone quickly. So when I get the order, I will separate the order and then mail it to my client with a thank you card, and I didn't bring my thank you card, and samples, okay? So I mail them a sample, and I have this little sample card that says it is completely personalized from me that thanks them for their business, and I'm sending them a sample from me. It has my information on it, and on the back, it says ask me about a VI becoming a VIP. I staple it to the collection of the month with the sample. That goes in the bag. You guys can get these off of Amazon. I buy these in bulk. They're very inexpensive. And then I mail it to my customer with my thank you card. It's completely personalized because this is my business, okay? My business. If I don't have these cards here, then look, no filter sends samples with every single order. I keep these and then I will just staple this to the back of this and send it to my customer. Or I may order extra $5 blushes, make my own samples. You can order these little babies off of Amazon, make your own samples, and send to your customers, okay? Customization, customer satisfaction is huge. And guys, that is how I was able to sell $4,000. I posted in my group, and I ordered for my customer instead of sending my customer to the website because customers get frustrated when they can't find what they're looking for. Now, I know the website's pretty easy, but don't you, even you as an affiliate, get frustrated when you can't figure out the deal if you need to add two or add an extra one or where it's located? Don't you think your customer is going to get just as frustrated? And luckily... Um, soon after I joined, we were having deal after deal after deal, so I started posting it. I also shared the flawless face, and I had one customer buy the Pro Age skincare because I took a picture of my skin before I got the Pro Age, and then one week after, and put them side by side, and then I went live and talked about it. And I sold her on it in that live. She didn't talk to me. She just went straight to the website and bought it herself. I love the Pro Age because some of you guys probably feel like it's a little pricey, but it's absolutely amazing. And there's three options. You always offer options to your customers. They can pay full price for it, or if they want a discount, they can sign up to be a VIP customer and get it for $198, and they get a discount going forward, which is amazing. Or they can get it for $199 and earn money back by becoming an affiliate just like you, okay? So that's how you get affiliates. So just a little recap, <laughs> what my strategy basically is, is I really treat those people in my group as my very important customers. Um, whether they've ever ordered from me or not, if they follow me or they are friends of mine or they are curious about the products I have or customers, they go into that group. And I am very active in that group. Every single day, I post a couple of times a day. I will post the deal in there. Um, if we're not having deals, I'm always creating my own little videos or my own images um, because I want to make sure people understand how amazing these products are. I'm focusing on people's problems and a product and how it solves their problems, um, such as chapped lips and what products we have and how amazing they are. And then I will post in my stories, my Facebook stories or Instagram stories, and I like to intertwine the stories with a product and um, personal. So I like to use the 
old McDonald's song, E-I-E-I-O. So that reminds me to post something engaging, informative, engaging, informative, and an offer. So that's what E-I-E-I-O stands for. So I don't just get mixed in with just posting offer after offer after offer after offer. I instead post engaging, informative, engaging, informative offer so that it doesn't just throw people off with so much of my product all the time. And then on my personal wall, I will post more of me, 80% of me, 20% of my business. There's where the 80-20 rule comes in. Um, I do have a business page. If you don't have a business page, honestly, I wouldn't recommend creating one at this point because Facebook has shifted and changed algorithms so much. You could use your personal page for your business. You just have to be careful about sharing any links, which is why I hardly ever share links. I take conversations and comments and I take it to Messenger. Um, I never share prices. Hardly ever do I share prices unless we have a deal. I don't share prices, I will share a product and I talk about how amazing the product is and what it does for your skin or how it solves a problem. And I'll ask who wants it or who wants details or who wants more information. And when people comment, even if they comment price, I will say I'll message you. And the reason why is because if I answer all the questions in the comments, then I'll never know who was actually interested. So all of those people that are interested, if they continue to comment, then I know who to contact and I can take that conversation in the messenger. That is really my method. Post in my group, post in my stories. I'll mix it in only one business post on my personal wall. Um, and I always take conversations to messenger and I make it personal for my customer. So I hope this has helped you. Um, comment below. Let me know what you found most beneficial. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to post them below. If you would love more training from me, let me know. I have tons of tricks and tips and things that I do and how I I use images and motion and all of that, um, but I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day and um, just watching this video, and I, I hope it is beneficial. Thank you, guys. Bye.